Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be reading SAP 6500, Inevitable. This one is a long one, so it's going to take a long, long while, and multiple videos to read it through all of this. This is, of course, part one, so if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel as all things inevitably decay. Let's get right into this. By order of Overwatch Command, this file has been cleared for access by all personnel. Readers are compelled to consume the following sacrament. Commence the ritual. Six Sons Refrain I am the blade. I am the shield. I am the arm that shall not yield. In tempest I stand fast. A legend I will last. I will not fade. I am the wand. I am the flame. I am the rod for truths untamed. In knowledge I will trust. Invoked, I burn the dust. I will not fade. I am the ninth. I am the shade. I am the hunter, not the prey. In whispers I have tread. By infamy I spread. I will not fade. I am the right. I am the scales. I am the patience which prevails. In honor I abide. With faith I turn the tide. I will not fade. We the centuries. We the wall. We the final card to fall. Through toil we shall gain. Through blood we shall remain. We will not fail. You are now protected. Stay fast and proceed. Item number SCP-6500. Event class Finus. Level 01 Unrestricted. Disruption class Amida. And here is SCP-179 adjacent to the South Solar Pole, inactive and unresponsive. We need to read about SCP-179 eventually. Special Containment Procedures. Each site is to review its containment records and determine which anomalies under their review would cause negative harm to humanity or widespread knowledge of the anomalous. These items are to be designated non-disruptive anomalies and their containment will be discontinued or reduced to simple observation. Operationally, this shall include, but is not limited to the following measures. Humanoid anomalies with record for corroborative behavior are to be injected or fitted with tracking devices if the biology is such anomaly allows for such measures and release. Each may be provided with a new identity on a per case basis. Religious and mythical artifacts will be returned to their respective cultural lands or people. Animals and other organisms will be released into the custody of Wilson's Wildlife Solutions or other similar groups of interest. With the means to care for them in a least restrictive, in a less restrictive environment. Tomes and grimoires are to be turned over to the servant's hand, and operatives for returning to the Wanderer's Library. An ambassador from the library has granted the Foundation temporary immunity for overdue items. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab something. Anomalous locales are to be afforded the same level of agency grant to nexuses. Leasing with their borders will be severely reduced. As we know that the above actions have thus far been insufficient at reversing the effects of SCP-6500, but have somewhat slowed its process. Following a meeting in of the Department of Tactical Theology and Applied Thaumaturgy and in vocational pataphysics, it has been determined that all operations involving SCP-6500 must contain elements of esoterica up to and including documentation, the code of which is to be lined with protective wards where possible. Protocol 6 Sun. All special missions, paths, undertaken in the pursuit of counteracting or, or neutralizing SCP-6500 are to incorporate eight ritualistic aspects as to not upset the integrity of the sought items. 6500 Alpha? 
I don't know that symbol. Or risk said item's corruption due to six, to SCP-6500's influence. Personnel accessing in protocol six set and materials should expect drastically atypical presentation formats as a necessary side effect of these rituals and of the thaumaturgical mechanisms protecting their contents. Description: SCP-6500 is a process of entropy exclusively targeting the anomalous. This primarily affects, but is no, in no way limited to, various forms of thaumaturgy, colloquially known as magic. SV6500 is responsible for over 1,500 neutralizations of anomalous persons, items, areas, and phenomena over the past decade. SV6500 takes many forms, for example, a process of accelerated intonescence and in organic anomalies, including those heretofore considered immortal. Objects that are for or into baseline reality, whether it be through temporal displacement or transference from alternate or higher planes of existence, have either created to the point of, of entropy before complete non existence or suffered violent structural collapse due to their incongruent ONT with our physical laws. Alrighty, damn. Whew. Since its formal recognition and study has been termed that SCP-6500 is hastened by containment efforts. Without intervention, the complete neutralization of all known and undiscovered anomalies is permitted to occur within a five-year period, irrevocably altering the state of the universe and rendering our organization obsolete. From the office of 051. Quiet days are upon us. One will be forgiven for viewing this as a desirable goal, to be free from the anomalous, to usher in a new age of reason where, where there can exist nothing outside our realm of understanding, a world where we would not have to watch our brethren die in the dark, unaccomplished and forgotten. One will be forgiven for wanting to go home up to their family, to look them in the eye and assure them everything is going to be okay, that there is nothing left to go bump into the night. One will be forgiven. Since our inception, countless generations of noble men and women have dedicated their lives to suppression of that which eludes understanding. They have stood stalwart and on the precipice of the unknown, staring defiantly into the abyss. They mocked its gaze. Why then should we not honor their tradition? Why spurn their sacrifice? Why should we move to proliferate that which we so stubbornly walked, locked away? SCP-6500 represents the end of magic, the end of stories, and of dreams. The utter desolation of countless sapient feeling in the lives, the destruction of communities, the fracturing of whole cultures and religions, it is an unnatural and intolerable eradication of untold worlds. It is condemnation, unforgiving in its totality, and unflinching in its march towards oblivion. To allow for it to continue on its course is to fail our mission and to protect, to see to its influence and to permit it to rob our world of wonder. To stand by will be tantamount to genocide. And that, that cannot be forgiven. 051, Foundation Chair. Origin, though 6500 is a relatively recent development, the possibility of such a phenomenon occurring has been posited in the part asked by various religious and occult groups and individuals within the Waterworks Library. 6500 is known as a Sepakli's Feast, or simply the Impasse, an event which is prophesied to herald the final occult war. The earliest attestation and thought to refer to the 6500 phenomenon was recorded by an unknown scholar in a collection of Sarkic scripture. It is a myth, it's a myth, it's a, it's a, it's a retelling of Grant Carson's eons failing of the, of the Davite city of Cursed. Son a comma, we low not to evident obscenities, suffer no pride in these dealings. The sorcerer king turned not towards his reveling in Clavigar. He spoke instead into the distance, as if beseeching creation itself. Ours is a somber crusade. Hold pity for those who would that so domineer us, even as their blades seek your throat, for they know not the grand nature of being. To this or a question. 
Surely as one who has endured the bondage of the Ipaji e Emma Willis Mother is thought to refer to matrix among the Deva Aid community, the capable of uh, Botano Okinesis. You should first celebrate a our retribution. No, the sorcerer king has eyes set upon the dying embers of the fortress city. Orc felt his piercing in gaze all the same. The enemy would see to snuff out all that is not within their dominion. To starve the Va Az Azuma is to starve themselves. Yan turned to regard his disciples, enraptured by his word. Single or ulterior scheduled library as he implored them. There will be no awakening for the devour for the sleep of the devourer. There would only be night and the void. Regarding its discovery by the SCP found by the Foundation, SCP 6500, it was originally hypothesized by one of its founding members, an individual old known known to the original five O Overseers as 050. Due to inconsistent record keeping in the Foundation's infancy, low information and exists regarding L50's history and personal life. Much of it contradictory. The only aspect of their tenure they're widely regarded to be factual is that the moniker 050 was applied to them as an offense due to their refusal to hold a seat of leadership among the, over among the other Overseers. The following apocryphal Apocryphal accounts describe potential O50 contents um, according to various sources. The Ragged. Among the primary accounts of O50 is the first net is the first soldier journal of the first O54. In it, O50 is described as a middle-aged Caucasian, Caucasian man hailing from an uncertain Nordic country named Norris Arkley. He is described as an aloof collector of curios with an air of affluence about him. All entire cloth ill equipped to conceal his manhood. Had he been accompanied by Mutz, what one would think him the Iogenus? Hmm. Not need that descriptor. Throughout his writings, O54 characterizes Arkley as a madman, continually critiquing the burgeoning council's decisions and directives while simultaneously distancing himself from a position of actual power. Only begrudgingly does O54 compliment Arclay after an unnamed incident which saw Arclay devising a containment protocol for a self replicating anomaly that claimed two Foundation lives. Of Arclay's split from Foundation, O54 writes, We can only be better off without him. The other seemed to be bothered by the loss of his personal collection and of artifacts and its equities. But it is of no concern to me if he il il took his po toys like a petulant child. The florist. From the records of the Global Occult Coalition and and came a, ser came a series of layers drafted by I a member of the Barbarian Illuminati named Bertram M. Suthmir, who had been tasked with spying on the early foundation and its members. Bertram tells of a young olive skin and a, and a woman named Nur who holds no office, though her words nevertheless hold weight. She is described as an accomplished botanist, seeking to explain the existence of the anomalies and their place in the natural order. Due to Bertram's focus on the more uh, audacious actions of the main council members, little attention is given to Nor. Over his years of observation, and though he admits to being unaware of the exact situation surrounding Nor's departure, he notes, It is funny, I'd always felt an unnerving sense of unease and of danger in my time documenting the actions of these animals. It was as if there was a weight about the air, a cold blanket of malaise and fear that I fell upon me while in their presence. I had assumed this to be a mere product of the mind, a harmless illusion triggered by my station and nothing more. The day that woman vanished, dear brother, so too did that loathsome pressure. I believe I have made a grave mistake. The Humanist. A record from the founding chair of the Ethics Committee I then they redacted, described their early re actions within the Foundation and their strange supervision as an honorary overseer. Who informed many of the e e committee's initial duties and principles. 
This overseer would communicate uh, to the chair exclusively by the telephone and was described as an intelligent and fearsome advocate for ethical consideration and regarding anomalous subjects. Well, if they're all true. Anyway. As the record continues, the chair describes the reply he achieved with this overseer whom they began to refer to as Zero. With her guidance, the chair writes, Necessary resources for humanoid containment have lessened by 20%. Beyond the immoral incentives for ethical treatment and of the anomalous, its, its efficiency is undeniable. However, their communications grew less frequent as the ethics community became a self-governing body. In the months following their last communication, the chair reports the internal arrest and trial of a high-ranking foundation operative, whom they identify by voice as Zero. This person was reportedly unable to be convicted of their supposed crimes as they held no formal opposition within the organization. They were instead exiled from the foundation via forced retirement. It is with a heavy heart I tender this letter of resignation and to those it concerns. I am no longer able to provide my services to the foundation in good conscience. This administration has made clear its distaste for the ethical concerns of the anomalous, and they have exiled the woman who, to whom I owe my career. Founding Chair, Ethics Committee, Final Record. 050 would leave the foundation due to ideological differences. Regarding the organization's growing spread and influence, the overseas did not perceive E6500 as a possibility, and thus dismiss O50's proposal to limit the foundation's scope. After their er, er, disappearance, O50's quarters were searched. Surviving personnel were able to recover several dozen notes regarding four anomalous artifacts, collectively designated SCP-6500, I'm going to say Alpha. I'm not sure if that... That's what that symbol is, but it's either that or it's a really funny looking A. Alongside notation and from 050 throughout, they reference either to in relation to other anomalies or in their relation to, to SCP-6500. The retrieval of these items has been deemed paramount to continued operations. Protocol 6 Sun. Initiate sequence. Domot on narrative engine engaged. Processing mission objectives. Connecting. Connecting. Assigning personnel. Authenticating. Authenticating. Analyzing in personality matrices. Loading. Preparing for revenant immersion. Initializing. May your path be true. Choose your path. We have four paths. The warrior. Obtaining the leading edge. A legendary blade woven into the pataphysical folds of reality. Its wielder embodies the spirit of the hero. The nature of this weapon would allow for SCP-6500 to overcome with the resolution of a grand quest. Mage, collect the Oryikakos Codex, a, myster a, mystical, a mystical artifact capable of storing vast amounts of magical energy and allowing its user to perform rites and rituals on a potentially universal scale. Thomas working using the Codex would be capable of halting and reversing the effects of SCP-6500 altogether. Cleric. Hunt for an unknown device of divine provenance, which is reportedly capable of accessing an untold number of realms by processing anomalous energies from linked realities. The advance of SCP-6500 would remain static and perpetu uh, and perpetuity. And thief, steal the mod, the immolar fa, I see. A relic whose essence is intertwined with universal entropy and, degrada and degradation. Control over this item would allow for dominion over all forces associated with decay and thus 6500.
Notice, the paths freely accessible above via Revenant Immersion required context for further eva ev evaluation of the SCP-6500 crisis. Sufficiently immersed O5 personnel may proceed by employing the credentials acquired thereby. If these credentials are unclear, further immersion is required. Wait, we don't have any credentials, and we're going to start with the warrior when we do. <sighs> I think that to proceed further, I will have to learn of what to put into with, with that and until we do which will be probably tomorrow this is going to have to be it so i hope you liked this video if you did please like please leave a like on the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel i have a plan for what i'm going to be doing tomorrow and that is continuing down the path of the warrior so until then, goodbye!